Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Curtis Dussome here. Um, I'm just going to give a little brief video on uh, skateboard wheels and just uh, just hopefully enlighten you a little bit. Um, so, skateboard wheels can be very, very overwhelming to shop for. There's literally a like, million different wheels. Like It's ridiculous how many kinds of wheels there are. Um, <clears throat> the the um, type of riding that you're going to do is going to determine what kind of wheels you should be choosing. So, for example, these are Coyote 65mm 78A. They say they're like slide formula wheels. They're kind of like a no-name sell-up brand, as you can see. There's All these other ones have packaging. This is literally just some cellophane wrap kind of thing and Coyote sticker in the back. So I got these on sale, so I wanted to try them, see if they hold up. Um, and so yeah, these are good wheels for um, um, like downhill sliding on a longboard. If you want to do like long power slides on a longboard, these would be really good for it because they come with a stone ground finish on the wheel. So it helps, it gives it like a pre-broken <clears throat> in feeling for um, so that right when you get it out of the package and you start sliding it, it's going to feel like it's already been initiated a few times, like someone's already been riding it a bit because you know how with fresh wheels they can be extremely sticky until you break them in so that's what um, the stone ground finish is designed to do and yeah that's the Coyote 65mm 75A wheel good downhill slider wheel and cruiser wheel too but since I got it specifically for sliding I'm gonna suggest use it as a downhill slide wheel and then these wheels here are a Rough Rider Bones uh, 60 B, which is ADA. I don't know why they gotta fuck with you so much, but 60B is ADA. So if you're ever wondering, on bones, B scale is 20 points higher than A scale. So if you see anything rated with the B rating, add 20 onto that, and that's an A rating. So you see 60B is equivalent to ADA, because you just add the 20 on top. So 60 plus 20, 80. We got that. So anyway, these wheels... Um, they say they are a superior urethane, softest bones formula, chemically bonded inner core, high rebound for speed, formulated for durability, designed for rougher terrain, UV protected, so you know they're going to stay, I guess, yellow for a long time, and then the durometer equals 60B, which is ADA right on the back there, so I ain't making it up, but I'm not going to zoom in on the camera to show you. So, yeah. These are supposedly some extremely good wheels if you want to just do some like cruising around in the town, like with a, um, even on a like a OG cruiser board. If you don't have these enormous wheels here that I'm gonna get to next, you can always just use these. These are, um, these are really good just uh, cruising around on uh, rougher terrain. But you, if you still want to like, like these would be really good if you on um, on your cruiser boards for riding around town. But they'd also be really good on your. Um, your skateboards that you would usually use something like a 53 mil Spitfire on, you could use these wheels on it, and then that would help you um, be able to ride like rougher terrain, obviously. But you could still actually have a, a bit of like they're they're bigger. Don't get me wrong, but they're still nimble enough that you can do tricks on them. So they're actually a quite a good um, substitute wheel if you live in a really got really janky streets around you or whatever, or you just uh, want to ride down in the forest like I've seen I've seen in the bones video they actually like got a guy riding right in the forest so maybe I guess if the gravel or whatever is packed off you can literally like straight off road with these wheels so that's why they call them rough riders and uh, so yeah they're 59 mils and they're overall really good cruiser wheel and just good for riding sketchy terrain while still being having technicality with it <clears throat> And then this wheel here is a um, Powell Peralta reissue. It's a 2005 reissue. It's the Mini Cubic 64 millimeter. So as you can tell, the contact patch on these is enormous. So let me just give you a comparison. Look at the contact patch on the Spitfires, the little skinny guys. This here, these wheels, first of all, 53 mil wheels. The contact patch on these wheels alone is 57 millimeters, so the entire width of this wheel is more than the entire diameter of this wheel. You see that? So you would measure them side to side, but 
just to compare you, let you know how wide these wheels are and why they call them mini cubics. They're pretty well square wheels. Like, look at that. Like, holy shit, those are big wheels. Um, so, yeah, these uh, Powell Peralta uh, wheels would go excellent on any OG reissue board. That's obviously what they're designed for. This is supposed to be as close as they got to the... They're trying to get as close as you can to the 80s replica skateboards that Tony Hawk and Steve Caballero and um, Christian Asoy, all those guys would have been riding, right? So These are 64 millimeter wheels. So, like I said before, they're pretty big. Um, not as big as these ones, just a little lower. But they are they are basically square because they have a 64 mil diameter, but they have a 57 mil contact patch. So if you do the math, it's pretty well square. And yeah, so I've heard from some people. I'm not sure if they're they're as close as you can get to the original formula. They're obviously not the original formula. Some people say the old ones were better. Some people say the new ones are better. I'm not sure. I still have yet to try all these for myself. But um, these wheels would just be an excellent uh, wheel for, you could cruise with these too, but don't get me wrong, you need anything above, let's say, 56 millimeter, you need a riser pad for like an eighth inch to start, and then if you're going to get like 60, up, six, above 60 mil, you need like a quarter inch to a half inch riser. Like these ones, you're definitely going to need a half inch riser. These are OG, like these are 64 mil, these are gonna give you mad wheel bite the moment you turn if you don't have a proper height between your board and the wheel so definitely gonna need riser pads if you're rocking these ones but um, nothing wrong with that that's just what you have to do so excellent um, reissue wheel hopefully it holds up and then finally for comparisons we have the Spitfire Formula 4 101 durometers here so these are extremely good technical street skating wheels um, these formula fours by Spitfire they claim that they uh, have an unbeatable lasting performance urethane um, more speed and control on all surfaces they have an unmatched flat spot resistance um, they have a smooth anti-stick slide um, with a high rebound compound so it's 100 percent true performance urethane and I've always ridden uh, Bones STF wheels for like the last six years at least. Probably like almost ten. No, it's got to be like ten years, yeah. So I've been riding STFs for like almost a decade now. And I was like, I've heard that these Formula 4s were really good wheels. So I decided I want to give these a try for comparison purposes. Um, I've heard they're really good wheel just for, like I said before, they're, well, they're going to do everything that an STF would wheel do. So if you're a hardcore bones addict and you only skate S STFs. I've heard these are the closest thing you to an STF without it being too crazy so I'm gonna try these out see what they're like I'll give you a little opinion on those but um, as far as I'm aware these are really good uh, street skate wheels like if you want to do blunt slides and you got sticky ass wheels you can't do it these are supposedly that's not gonna be a problem with these wheels these are just blunt slides for days on here no slides power slides Anything sliding on these wheels, they say is good, and it has um, very good flat spot resistance. And I'd like to test that out compared to Bones, because I know Bones STFs are pretty incredible. So, and I haven't heard anything negative about Spitfire Formula Fours. I've heard negative things about just the regular classic ones on how they can flat spot pretty bad. But as far as Formula Fours, that's their high end urethane and. I've only heard nothing but good reviews on it, and so got the 53 mil one here. These are just classic shapes, so they have a small contact patch. Um, I like that they have the labeling on both sides. You can see a little bit. It's kind of cool. So if you're one of those people that like rocking their wheels backwards, you can still have a logo on the other side. So that's cool. Kind of reminds me of Recta wheels, um, even though I don't like Rectas. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, um, I think that's pretty well it for this video. I just wanted to give a little bit of insight on um, a couple different types of wheels. Um, even though I there's a plethora of wheels, you can just go do your own research and you'll just probably be overwhelmed in a second. But um, if my suggestion, if you're looking for any wheels, 
make sure you know what kind of skateboarding you want to do because that's literally going to narrow down or tailor what kind of wheels you're going to use. So if you're saying, hey, I want to make the most OG cruiser possible, like I want to be like Tony Hawk, 80s stuff, okay? These are the wheels for you right here. If you got some sketchy dirt terrain shit you want to hit, you got a nice rail you want to hit, but it's all shit terrain on the way up, rock these. Those should be pretty damn good. STFs, I mean ATFs. Um, if you're trying to do some slides, these are cheaper wheels, so I mean, like, I can't really tell you if they're good or not, but I mean, anything with a stone ground patch and um, they, they should be saying their slide formula because I'm quite sure that a slide formula is definitely going to be less sticky than a other formula. Like these ATFs, I've heard this is just non-power slideable. This is pure grip, so don't try that with these ones. These ones, they'll have a bit of forgiveness for it. They'll give out. And then these are just like merciless. They will just slide out just crazy. But they say they're predictable too, so I mean it's not like totally crazy. But I mean um, if you're doing just like you want to do some nice P-rod heel flip, no slide, heel flip out kind of shit, you want to get techy, use these. Alright, so that's just four different uh, wheel sizes, urethanes, um, just different specs on different wheels there for you. There's, like I said, a plethora of wheels, do your own research, but um, this is just uh, give you give you guys a bit of an idea of what you're looking for when you are looking for wheels. So. Just remember, the number one thing, know what kind of skateboarding you want to do. So um, that's going to tailor, like I said, what wheel you're going to ride. So just uh, just keep that in mind. If you want, if you're like, I want a street wheel, boom, there you go. If you want to slide longboard, boom. You want to go hit some shitty terrain, boom. You want an OG classic remake, boom. You know, that's just how I think of it. That's how you should be thinking of it too should be considering what the wheel's going to be used for. I would not be putting these on and be like, yeah, let's go skate uh, some ledges. Like, no, these are fucking meant for the pool because they were made in the 80s and that's what people skated in the 80s. So, yeah. So every wheel has their own purpose. Figure out what kind of skateboarding you want to do. After you've determined that, then you'll be able to tailor which kind of wheel you're going to want to ride. So. These are four different wheels, but they all have varying uses. So you just got to keep that in mind. Just uh, just uh, know that the wheel that, or ensure that the wheel that you are buying is suitable for the riding that you're going to do. So don't buy these and go, I want to skate street, or buy these and throw them on a longboard. Like, <laughs> I can't fathom that, but yeah, um, don't do that. <laughs> so yeah, um, just. Just uh, use your own uh, use your own uh, common sense when buying wheels. I guess just uh, just know that the wheel is gonna do what you want it to do, so that you're not disappointed. I think that's all I can really say. And uh, with that being said and done, I think I'll leave this video here today. And uh, I appreciate everyone uh, tuning in and listening to uh, the different um, opinions I got on wheels and how you should be choosing wheels when buying your next set so yeah alright thanks guys have a good skate take care peace out